with the loyalty and love. Uh, anyway. Okay, I have one announcement. One minute. Okay, please. I um, want to start with Bernard. Because how many times have so many of us been on the phone at 5 o'clock in the morning with Bernard for our thing that we were doing that day in that place mm -hmm. that he put out there on WBAI and went to the whole community. That's right. And he was always there and he was always doing the broadest kind of support work. He didn't pick and choose. He didn't say, oh, this is worthy of my time. Oh, those people, they're, they're not too much. We don't need to do that thing. Everybody in this movement is crucial. And I tell you something, Suzanne is right. This is a great struggle for Mumia. It's going to be a great struggle for all the other That's people right. That's who right. are in That's jail, right. in the Jeff camps, who have hepatitis C and have to fight. And even more so for the people outside the camps, the right. people in the right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. So as true leftists, we must say that fight is all our fight. Absolutely. We're not just doing, we want to just do it for the political prisoners who are, of course, our hearts, our souls, but they are only a piece of this and we have to fight for everyone. And it's just like all the rest of our struggle. An injury to one? It's an injury to all. And that is where we are, where we come from, where we live. And if we don't remember that, that's what Bernard leaves for us. When he says, and I hate it, it sounds like it's a funeral. But it's no, not. it's not. No, yes. it's not. And that's why we are going to make sure Bernard can get back to New York as get often as possible. Get him back on the station. Give him a job. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yes. Get him on the radio. Can I just add, because Lynn reminded radio. me. Go ahead. Um, the petition, the call is for the six, the 6,000 other prisoners in Pennsylvania to all get treatment. This campaign has been from the start about all the prisoners in Pennsylvania who have hepatitis C, and we know many of them individually, and we support all of them. And as in the past, Mumia's struggles have always opened up, like with the death penalty, as you remember. He opened up the issue for thousands and thousands of other people, and this time, too. So I, I was neglectful and to I omit it. And I to that. Yeah. <laughs> because when I speak, I speak from the words of my daughter, the doctor. <laughs> and I really do have a daughter. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> she says there are so many people going to the clinics of Bellevue, going to the clinics all over the city, all over this country, all over this world. Hepatitis C, an they're epidemic. not getting treated. It's an epidemic. There's no way anybody is, but if we can get a foot in the door with Mumia, we can get a knee in for other political prisoners and prisoners, and we can ultimately fight for all of us because medical treatment in this country is a scandal. It is. Scandal. Remember, for those of you who want to see Bernard on the radio, remember, he is on the internet at cprmetro.org. Yeah. Every morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And through the day. And support single payer health systems. Yeah. 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 Many, 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 right, many more thing I'd like to mention is, um, you know, um, Bernard was always, as has been said, someone who not only preached but practiced solidarity among oppressed peoples. And um, the first time I was ever on WBAI was in 1986 when he invited me on to the Emanation Show along with Rafael Cancel Miranda, who was a Puerto Rican national hero, who, who did 25 years in federal prison for daring to resist with arms by going into the U.S. Congress to fight against U.S. colonialism in Puerto Rico. And what we were talking about that night is an issue that continues right through this day, which is the illegal incarceration of Puerto Rican freedom fighters as political prisoners. So just as Bernard, and that was hardly the only time Bernard hosted a program that wasn't limited to black 
liberation issues, but it was about all oppressed people fighting for justice and freedom many, many, many times over the years. So bringing that up to this moment, I know Bernard is a strong supporter and we all should be doing everything we can in the next 13 days while Obama is still in office to demand that he grant clemency to Oscar Lopez Rivera, the last remaining freedom fighter in the Puerto Rican movement. Absolutely. And, um, that's, of course, along with Leonard Peltier, Dr. Matulu Shakur, um, Chelsea, Manning. Chelsea Manning. There's a long list, but the, the campaigns that are particularly focused are around those folks. Those folks. So you can Google, every one of them has either a Facebook page or a website, so you can Google them. Or if you want to see me, I can send you emails with all the websites to go to for all of those political prisoners. But we really need to pull out the stops. This is doable. This can be won. The reason Rafael was on the radio that night was that six years earlier, a global campaign almost identical to the one being waged for Oscar now, succeeded in forcing Jimmy Carter to free him and his four co-defendants. Now Jimmy Carter, because of the same movement, continuing 30 years later, has written a letter to Barack Obama saying, you need to free Oscar Lopez Rivera. That's the power of our movement. We need to keep this up until the last minute. So please spread the word, 13 days.